Alright, what's going on guys? I got another article for you guys today, uh, this time regarding Dragon Quest. Now do note this was written January 1st, but I think this perfectly outlines this whole like, you know, Pokemon centralism that goes on whenever any monster taming game is released or discussed. It's always from a standpoint of Pokemon is the default and this is a copy or this is a ripoff. And this article doesn't necessarily say that uh, the game's nothing more than a ripoff. It actually tries to do the opposite, but even in doing so, it still makes a lot of mistakes. So we're going to go over it, discuss it, react to it, and uh, just have a good time. So Dragon Quest's best spinoff is basically medieval Pokemon. No, no, it's not. It's not basically medieval Pokemon. It plays nothing like Pokemon, but let's see what they have to say. So Dragon Quest Monsters might seem like a Pokemon ripoff. It doesn't. It, it, it would seem like a Pokemon ripoff if you're stupid. Um, but the Square Enix spinoff is the perfect candidate to compete against Game Freak's titles. The Dragon Quest franchise is moderately popular in the West, but it's absolutely huge in Japan. A series developed by Square Enix, it's many times compared to its sibling, Final Fantasy. Dragon Quest is actually quite different, however, and one of its many spin-offs instead emulates another JRPG. Dragon Quest Monsters began in the 90s, and the similarities between it and Nintendo's Pokemon were obvious. Nevertheless, what could have been a mere ripoff is actually respectable, uh, and, and a subseries that does many things better than its well-known rival. With the US having gone without the games for years, now is the right time for Square Enix to revive the Dragon Quest monsters. It, it's actually kind of funny because this person did predict it. They did revive it this year. And the upswing of monster taming definitely helped. Now, there's a couple things I want to say. Uh, actually, I, I'm going to read this next part first because this kind of goes into it. Released in 98, Dragon Quest Monsters, or Dragon Warrior Monsters in the West, was a handheld title for Game Boy, a prequel to Dragon Warrior 5. Uh, it acts as a prequel to that game, much like how the recent Dragon Quest Treasures features younger versions of Eric and Mia from Dragon Quest XI, utilizing elements from the fifth game. It got rid of the protagonist taking part in battles, instead, and, and I don't think they meant Dragon Warrior 5, I think they meant Dragon Quest 5, but is that what it was called in the West at the time? I didn't even know that. Utilizing elements from the fifth game, it got rid of the protagonist taking parts in battles, instead leaving the fist cups up to the monsters themselves. This obviously draws comparison to Pokemon, though there were still differences to Keep the two handheld RPGs somewhat distinct. For one, Dragon Quest Monster had, had a robust breeding system, which, Nintendo, which Nintendo's franchise still lacked at the time. It also had more monsters to catch and breed than Pokemon at that point, with the creatures being familiar foes from the Dragon Quest franchise. While the monsters and the stories themselves were fairly cutesy, they did have a bit more of an edge compared to the kid-oriented Pokemon games. When combined with the popularity of the franchise as a whole, it saw Dragon Quest Monsters go on to receive sequels. This has helped the creatures such as the iconic slime into RPG legends at the same level as uh, Chocobos, Moogles, and even Pokemon's iconic mascot Pikachu. The Dragon Quest anime and new titles such as Dragon Quest XI and Treasures have finally gone on to make the series more mainstream in the West, but many of the Dragon Quest monster titles have sadly not been a part of this renaissance. Then they go on to say why it's good for Switch. So, and we know there's a new Dragon Quest game. Now, one thing I want to talk about, and we talk about this time and time again, but I, I, I'm going to say it again. Dragon Quest Monsters is not specifically inspired by Pokemon. Did they use Dragon Warrior Monsters or Dragon Quest Monsters as their own sort of, um, you know, uh, like attempt to capitalize on the monster taming craze that Pokemon sort of spiked? Absolutely, but you have to remember, Dragon Quest Monsters isn't inspired by Pokemon. Maybe the game itself came as a result of Pokemon success, uh, maybe, we don't even know, but it definitely isn't in and of itself inspired by Pokemon. Dragon Quest V is what inspired Pokemon in many aspects. Dragon Quest V has monster taming mechanics and the characters fight alongside the monsters. Dragon Quest monsters, much like treasures, again, features younger versions of the protagonists. And in this case, it makes sense that the younger versions wouldn't actually fight themselves, but instead command monsters to do it for them. I I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know, Pokemon coming out in 96 had nothing to do with Dragon Quest deciding to make a spin-off franchise that specifically features monster battling. But I will say that they were expanding their own systems and not just copying Pokemon. And I've said this time and time again, but there are many Pokemon that look like Dragon Quest monsters with their own flair to it. And it, it, it just annoys me that everybody thinks that Dragon Quest monsters is just some Pokemon like, oh, well, Pokemon made something. Maybe now we should start monster taming. Like, no, 
Dragon Quest V started it. But other than that, like, obviously this person probably just doesn't... Well, they do know that because they mentioned it. I, I just think it's, you know, typical kind of uh, corporate game journalism, just trying to make everything exist from a Pokemon standpoint. And I don't think it's necessarily a terrible article because it does actually, like, go on to compliment Dragon Quest for what it did. Personally, like, they consider them rivals. I, per and this is my personal opinion, I personally think Pokemon Red and Blue are better games than Dragon Quest Monsters 1, uh, in my personal opinion. But, you know, at least they are, they're not just wanking Pokemon off while calling uh, the other games garbage like a lot of these articles do. But, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. Um, I actually do want to do a... It wouldn't really be a let's try since I've already played it, but I would like to do a video playing the original Dragon Warrior Monsters, and I want to play the sequels because I've heard that that like Dragon Quest Monsters 2 is a lot better than 1. Um, but yeah, maybe we can do a video going over that as well because I think it'd be fun, especially leading up to the launch of Dragon Quest Monsters uh, The Dark Prince, which is coming later this year. But if you want to stay up to date on all things monster taming, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel for daily content. You can check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon linked below. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Oh, special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogos, Dark Persona, Exodus, and Kenny Morency. And now we'll see you later. Bye.